welcome back. This time I'm at the village of Newbold, which isn't too far from where I live in Loughborough. It's sort of halfway between Loughborough and Ashby, not far from Colville. Um, I'm led to believe if I follow the public footpath down here, I'm going to be able to find one of the oldest railway tunnels in the country. Let's go and have a look. That tree line there is usually a telltale sign of a trap bed. So uh, we'll push on through here, see if we can find a tunnel. Doesn't seem to be a way through here just yet, so uh, we'll look this way. So we had a bit of a fail back that way, but uh, this is looking a lot more likely. There's even some buildings still standing here, look. So the remnants of the railway. Gang resorts, I should imagine. Fenced off there, that's someone's garden, that's where I tried to come through. It's obviously unfortunate they had a fail that way. We don't do private land unless we have to. Swamp here again, look. Absolutely. It has been raining a lot recently. I'm thinking of this is a beat. This is why I should always bring what lives on these explorers, guys. Always. Sleeper there, still in situ. I really hope we can get to this tunnel. I really want to see it. It's one of the oldest in the country. Designed by uh, Robert Stevenson. So it's bound to be. If it was easy, it would just be the way. A rubbish been thrown in over the years. I mean, 15 minutes drive from my house. I've been doing these explores over 30 years now. I didn't even know it was here until the other day.
think we have found it. Someone's filled it in so you can't get through it, but we get to see it nonetheless. Beside her, so I don't sink. But made it, made it, we have. New Bowl Tunnel, the restaurant's one into a railway. Built in the 19th, sorry, 1830s. So it is definitely one of the oldest ones in the country. If not the world. I'll double check that when I get back. But for now, happy days. See if we can get inside. Right, let's have a little walk through it. We can. It is severely, severely flooded as you can see. Let me stick to the sides. It's more like a culvert this is than anything else. Buzzing to speed down here. It's not the not the longest tunnel I've ever been in, but definitely one of the oldest, or the oldest. Brick where it's badly spoiled in places. But this is a piece of history right here, right now, guys. Anything by Mr. Stevenson. He's got my boot. Edison. 30, 90 yards before you even know it, we're at the other end. This one's all about the history, guys. I cannot believe this has been sitting there 15 minutes away from my front door. All the time I've been doing these explores. But I'm here now. It's in quite rough shape. Oh, it's been sat here since the 1830s. It's to be expected. Begin the walk back through. Obviously not, obviously from there, it's been moved. Oh, there's some missing from the wall there as well, but I'm there. Yeah. Uh, we're not doing too bad today, two tunnels. The other one down at more cut. Philly said I forgot his bloody memory card for his main camera. So guess what, I just have to film the old thing with his iPhone. Plus my main torch packs up on me in Morcott Tunnel as well, so I don't know how well the stills will come out from there. But it's 
explores and explores. I'm sure we'll get something out of these then. Shots with the top. This is feeling more while he's off for me. So wow, what a gem, what a piece of history look, just sitting here, this one is rotting away as well, so it's a shame, well, I reiterate, not the longest tunnel I've ever been in, but it's definitely the oldest. Amazing how nature just takes over. Same everywhere you go. I mean, down at Morecot earlier. Well, I mean, that was a bit of a nightmare to get into. Went as, well, this was nothing like as bad as that was. But this is pretty easy. So there's still a couple of sleepers in situ. Got a bit of the track chair attached to it. Got the one there. Some more there, look. Definitely a bit of old railway architecture here. I should imagine it was the Ganges. Proper collapse at some point. Something up there as well at some point. But wow. Leicester to Swannington line, Leicester and Swannington line, sorry. One of the oldest railways in the world, and here we are. Right on my doorstep, <laughs> didn't even know. Every day is a school day. So it makes this hobby never get boring. So I've climbed up the embankment on this side, obviously, where them gangers up so and I'm starting to think, look at all this old ironwork. There could possibly have been an aqueduct over here at some point. I'll get back, I'll look on the maps, and I'll see if I can see one. Oh yeah, that would suggest, well, there's something to do with water. Either storage or diverting the stream. Like I said, if you know, you let me know. I'm just buzzing that I found this place.
This is definitely one of my best finds ever. And trust me, I found some amazing places. So like this one, I might have actually had a toilet in it. It's unusual. Hey, right, let's get back up here. Rope's not required. Oh, he says. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll use it for this last bit. <laughs> Look at that look, it's back out. A normal suburban housing seat and all this just sitting right next to it. What a find. Well, I'm back in the car. Just for once in my life, I'm lost for words. I am gobsmacked. I mean, to have that piece of history, amazing piece of history, just sitting there, 15 minutes from my ass. After all these years I've been doing these explores, I didn't even know it was there. But every day is a school day. And that's what means this hobby will never get boring. There's always something else to go and look at if you know where to look for it. But for now, I'm going to sign off from Newbold. It's been a great day out. Two tunnels again. Um, who knows where we'll be going next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. And uh, see you on the next one. Cheers.